And welcome back, 48 minutes past the hour. And uh, on the line is Mark Taylor Canfield, our man on the ground in Seattle. Hey, Mark, what's going on? Hey, Tom, I have a major unreported story that's not being covered by most news services. So yesterday, the Summit on Democracy and Information was convened in New York City at the United Nations, sponsored by Reporters Without Borders, which I covered for Democracy Watch News. Keynote speaker was Nobel Prize winning journalist Maria Risa. And the big news is that the United States has now joined 46 other countries in the Partnership for Information and Democracy. It's featuring some new initiatives, including what's being called the New Deal for Journalism, featuring the Joint Trust Initiative, the JTI. And that's an effort to combat the societal chaos and misinformation uh, that infodemics cause, something we've seen affecting U.S. politics with the false information being perpetrated about the 2020 election. Uh, and that's being fostered, of course, by the Trump crime family and their supporters. Joseph Stieglitz actually helped write some of the guidelines for this effort. A great man. I had the honor of meeting at a town hall event here in Seattle not too long ago, or, mm -hmm. where else I met you not too long ago. But it's an important step in reforming the media climate and promoting accuracy and responsibility. And by the way, Tom, we've talked about this before. The United States is currently ranked 42nd in the world in terms of press freedom by reporters with borders, with reporters without borders, something that we need to do a lot better in that, in that regard. News agencies need to hold themselves accountable in this nation. So I'm going to continue to speak out about that issue. And I, I really thank you for the chance to mention it on your show. It's a really, really good program today, Tom. Thank you, Mark. My pleasure. And it's always nice to hear from you. Thanks for the report. That's fascinating stuff. Thank you.